I spent 160 pounds and 40 pence stupidly on Wish on a bunch of tech products and this is what showed up. So if you missed the first video, I'll put an iCard up here to when we were going through Wish, stupidly putting this stuff in our basket um, just to see what the stuff is like for the price that you pay. I'm gonna guess right now, bad, really bad. <laughs> Now we said in that first video, we didn't know how long things would take to show up. That was posted sometime in February. It is now coming into April. Um, at this point, I've now given up out of the five, I think there was five tech products and one home decor product uh, that we ordered. There's only one which didn't show up. So thanks a lot, Wish. Uh, but that was the ultimate creepers tool of creeping. <sighs> the ultimate creepers tool of creeping the spy pen with the camera built in so that I could uncover government secrets and catch people cheating. Not really, I was I was probably just gonna film people without knowing. Um, it didn't show up, but that was like, thank you car horn, uh, but that was like £4.75. I've had things like this in the past where people are like, you should file a charge back. It, it's £4.75, I got ripped off by China, it's fine. So we're gonna start going through these and just see how bad they are. And I'm gonna start from the top and see, oh God, I dropped it all. It's all broken. If it wasn't broken before, now it's broken. But we're gonna start off with these. These are the fake uh, AirPods. They are the i7Ss. Now, before I even ordered these, I didn't realize they had such clout on the internet. Um, I'm gonna leave another card up there uh, to a channel called TechSmart. They do a lot of Wish videos, like the kind of stuff, if I had the money, I would probably be doing just for shits and gigs but they ordered every type of AirPod that they could find on Wish, and about 80% of them were this model right here. But this, I've, I've seen their video, I'm expecting horrendousness. Now, I have taken these out of the box already uh, because I did do a video. Again, I'm just gonna keep plugging the channel. There's a card up there. Uh, so I did a video talking about the new AirPod 2s. I did a bit of a parody of they don't fit in people's ears. I needed a prop. These were the best I had, forgetting that I had ordered them in black. So I've had them out already, but I haven't actually turned them on and put them on, on my ears, in my ears, around my ears, in and around my ears. So in the box, there's literally just these and a USB charging cable, the instructions which I've just thrown and I'm probably gonna need. Uh, on the front of these, you can see actually sharing a feature of the AirPod 2s, LED light on the front, wow, big stuff. Not a wireless charging case though. And then this was what they actually look like, much thicker than AirPods. The fact that they come in black, immediate giveaway that they are not real. But as I mentioned in that last video I did, they don't fit in my ears very well at all. They look like trash. I'm now just referring to AirPods in general, to be fair. <laughs> I'm a Samson man. I mean, actually, because they're, they're thicker, I've tried people's AirPods, because they're like thicker, I think they actually may stay in my ears better than AirPods. No movement. There's a bit of jiggling in my lard, but, but there's no movement. <laughs> so we're gonna pair them. Uh, we, we noticed when we bought them that they are not just for Apple devices, which is good. It said all devices. So we've got the S10 that I'm gonna try and connect it to. I believe it's just from what I saw, you hold down these buttons. And they've started flashing blue and red. And the lady is speaking to me, okay. Weirdly, you said device is connected. I haven't finished scanning yet. What are you doing? Oh, I see him. i7 TWS. Here goes the test. I am not expecting good things. We're gonna go with a bit of logic. I've been tweeting about this all week the book is amazing the soundtrack is amazing you should really check it out but here goes nothing i'm gonna hit play ah jesus <laughs> oh how nice of them to automatically be turned up to maximum volume okay so they're trash i'm i can come out right now and say they're trash <laughs> they're either broken or just that bad that this is like the preferred AirPod or earbud or whatever you want to call it because this one is so much louder than this one. They both just sound tinny and hollow. It's kind of like listening to music through a paper cup tied to a string. The best way that I could describe it. But I think these buttons are supposed to... You, for some reason, dialed my voicemail. <laughs> I just want to go next track. Nope. If I double click them, it tries to call my voicemail. <laughs> Plus, every time I push this button in a bit, it makes the audio crackle. I wonder if there's any way to, to let you hear what's going on. That's 
some top-notch engineering right there. They also, they don't stop playing as soon as you take them out of your ears. What about if I drop them in the, in their little pouchy doodad? They just keep playing. Now it's like I've trapped logic in a box. <laughs> I'm gonna unpair, make it forget. Because I just feel like even being connected, they are like infecting my S10. So, uh, trash. Absolute trash. If I had to rate them, let's do a little rating system on some of these. I'll probably forget as I go through. If I had to rate them a, a one out of AirPods. And one out of, one out of five, we'll do a, a five rating scale. These are a one, they're terrible, they're tinny. There's no bass. Uh, as the volume goes up, there's lots of peaking. Uh, it distorts and you can't even push a button without hearing some kind of weird crackling noise. Also, I feel like I'm not the first owner of these. The, the actual buds themselves, there was nothing like to show that somebody had put them in their ears, which is good. Uh, but the actual case, it looks like somebody's been using it as a hockey puck. Don't you ever touch my puck! It is scratched to f However, when we did all of them, they were two dollars. Two dollars, something actually showed up. You can listen to music through them. It's, it gets a one from me. Some of these are partially open because I get a lot of delivered. So I just had to check to see if it was wish crap or something I genuinely wanted. But oh boy, this one is the beanie cap with some kind of Bluetooth built-in headphone, which I actually can't remember how much I paid for these things. Six pounds 65 down from eight pounds. So not a massive saving. You know, we're coming out of winter, into spring, the sun's coming out. It's a perfect time to start wearing warm beanies. There's just headphones built into this bit. It's no kind of special bone conduction or anything. It's, it smells strange. Kind of like a museum. Good Lord, Lords! Why are you slapping a monkey? It's a weird, uh, it's a weird comparison. That's all I've got. It smells like a museum. FCC radiation exposure statement. Awesome. Chance of radiation poisoning. Okay. Apparently you just turn it on and it's gonna find it. Let's bring back the S10. So in case it wasn't obvious, there's nice buttons and Bluetooth symbols and stuff to, you know, tell people you're a douche. Magic hat, this one is called. Bluetooth connect, okay. Do I have to show off my unwashed crappy hair? Probably. Ah. I look so cool. Right now, a little bit like a smurf. Holy smurfing ass crackers! But you have to wear it this way because this is where the, the ear things are. I think they're aligned. We're supposedly connected. We're gonna hit up some logic again. I'm surprised immediately by what isn't trash sound. There's actually, obviously because they're, they're bigger, uh, they've managed to fit in some better mechanics in there. The bass is actually pretty good. Even turning the volume up, there's not a lot of distortion. It's missing a bit of clarity. The mids are a bit I'm not gonna lie. Uh, as suspected, the, they're kind of just speakers. You could probably hear everything. So if you were in like a crowded, busy place where there's a lot of noise, I don't think you're gonna disrupt anyone by having this on, but you could hear this much louder than everything else around. It would probably block out a bit of noise. I'm impressed, six, six pounds, six pounds 65. I better stop playing one track so consistently because otherwise I will get hit. Visionary Music Group will probably copyright. But yeah, you know what? Other than its slight museum stench, uh, it was easy to connect. The sound is actually pretty decent. So I'm gonna give it like a, like a four. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go four, four out of five. It's, it's a bit smelly in terms of fashion. Yes, you look a little bit like a Smurf. If some people can pull this off better than me, this might be for you. £6.65, pretty damn good. Next, we're just gonna get this one out of the way. It's not tech, this is the one piece of decor that I ordered. It was just to see if we moved, if I set up a new office and I used a wall of these tiles, if they would look any good. And I'm just, I'm imagining, no, not really. But it's cost like two pounds. But I mean, two pounds per square, it's probably quite an expensive wall to be honest. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh, it's actually, it is bigger, it's folded. Two pounds for, for one of these. Let's take it out so it's less shiny than both. I mean, would it, would it look bad? Would it? I think it would. Let's do a little 
Let's do a test. What are we thinking? Wall full of those in the background. It's not, it's not bad. I probably wouldn't do it. This, this was more um, fulfilling my... Thank you. This was more fulfilling my curiosity to see how bad it would look, but it's pretty effective. These are just, it's adhesive on the back. And this is just foam. It would just probably destroy any wall that you're gonna put it on anyway. So if you're gonna use this, you better be sure. That's not terrible. Three, three out of five. I'll give, I'll give you a three. Probably won't be doing this, um, safe to say, in, in my new office. Which means we're finally onto the fun stuff. We've got the two, probably the, two most expensive, wait, am I still missing something? No, there's one here as well, free, free stuff left. I thought, which done me, done me good then. Okay, so we've got three things left. There is the stabilizer gimbal thing. There is a drone, which I am most fascinated to see. And there is a camera, which was supposed to be a knockoff of a Canon. So let's just see about that. It still doesn't look bad. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. Uh, I think this was the most expensive thing that we bought. It's not really like an off-brand product, it's just probably a, a lesser known brand. It's called FunSnap. Face tracking, picture beautification, compatible with sports cameras. You can put um, GoPros, things like that in here. Eight hours battery life, Bluetooth control, uh, quick vertical to horizontal switch, time-lapse modes, zoom, shot panning. It looks pretty good. Now we've got an S10 camera to put in it, maybe actually be able to get some half decent results out of this. Keep putting these Chinese factory things in my mouth. How do I get you open? It's not like that. Slide? Is there a latch? That's why we're not an unboxing channel. You don't slide out. I'm so confused. Presentation. It's not too, bye. Not too bad. This is the gimbal. I broke it already. This is the gimbal. I have a charging cable, micro USB, and what appears to be a counterweight if you're using something fairly heavy. How easy is this to get in? So it looks like you just extend this bit here. That's a bit tight. Okay, and so I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Obviously I haven't turned it on yet. To do that, instructions will not be read. Oh, oh God. Wow. So it can support the weight at this weird kind of angle of an S10. So that's good to know. So we have got a joystick on here as well to see if we can move it independently. Maybe you have to change modes. Tilt. Tilt. Doesn't do left and right. That's weird. But you can get some, some good tilt action going on. Oh yeah, here it goes again. Woo! It's pretty cool. I'm impressed with that. Now it's difficult to use my phone because it's trying to correct. Easy now. Don't put it on the floor flat because it doesn't know gyroscopically where it's gone. And it makes a sad noise when you turn him off. And he goes limp. That's usually what happens when you're turned off. Okay, you go into the app, you allow it to access your phone and your, not all of your phone, just the camera, your gallery, stuff like that. It's looking for the Bluetooth device. Let's turn this thing on, which is now turned into a weird vibrator. He died. Let's try again. But it's at this weird kind of angle. If I try and hold it straight, it's... Okay, so you can see that the trigger here, uh, obviously we saw before there's like the, the pitch, the yaw, whatever you want to call it. There we go. That looks sufficiently weird. Uh, and then left and right is actually like a zoom in and out. There we go. Now we're in a creepy position. Yeah, right there. Ah, rah, 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 rah. Okay, so we found video, uh, but you know what? It's really not going to be dramatic enough if I just record the flat around me. So I'm going to take a quick trip outside uh, and just see how this actually performs if I like run around I will probably look a little bit weird but that's fine let's go let's go outside quick okay so I feel pretty confident in saying not great like for this my hand is slowly turning to the left because it wants to it wants to adjust itself constantly yes it is stable but at what cost <laughs> that all it wanted to do is look to the left it did not care what was in front of me it was like but what's going on over here 
So uh, 52 pounds. If you were doing some very short clips, which you, you needed stabilizing, then yes, maybe. Yeah, it's doing well. I think at stabilization, it's just directional. It hasn't got a clue. Maybe that's software related. Maybe the hardware itself is trash. Who knows? But you can clearly see as we're going on that this is becoming less horizontal, more vertical. It's, it's not great. So who knows? Maybe I didn't spend enough time with the instructions on this one. Maybe there's some things you need to tweak in the actual app, the software side of it. But something like this seems like something you should just, it's like a run and gun. You should just be able to grab it. It shouldn't be that much to play with. So the fact that I couldn't get it to work straight out of the box. Yes, it's stabilized. Yes, when you got it to work, it was smooth, but it just had this constant need to go, what's happening over here when you didn't want it to? So for that reason, we're gonna go two out of five. I think two out of five for this one is generous. But I still like this feature. Yeah. Oh boy, what do you got for us next, Wish? I cannot wait, but here we have the fake camera, the Canon, although it says camera in its place. It's a little bit genius. So this was, I can't remember it's, and by the way, I can't even get back into my Wish account. I don't remember the password. It didn't send me the reset. So uh, I'm having to watch my old video <laughs> to get the prices. 26 pounds down from 191 pounds. Yes, I'm very sure. Uh, it's powered by four, double a batteries that's how you know it's powerful it's 720p yeah 1280 by 720 recording usb 2.0 like that's something to brag about jpeg file format love it let's just let's get this thing over if see how bad it looks why is it why is it so light I should not be able to do this with a DSLR. And I'm not worried about breaking it because... Oh, absolute robbery. It was supposed to come with an SD card. Unless it's in the camera. Also those four AA batteries were not included. How classy of you. But this is it. I mean, at a glance, if you were just walking by somebody on the street, then, you know, they might think, oh, this, this photographer guy, yeah. No, I think this is a fake flash. I don't think this shows up. Oh, yes, it does. I was wrong. Now we're professional. Question is, do I have four AA batteries around the house? And also, did they rip me off on this SD card thing? Why don't you open? Okay, you came through this time. There is a, what appears to be a very fake SD card. Like they've printed Kingston on the front on just a piece of sticky with quite a bad printer, but it's in there. I'll give them, give them their dues, it's in there. Where am I gonna get these batteries from? Okay, I managed to find two brand new batteries and I know where I'm getting the other two from. I don't recommend this at home. You need a very high level of IQ to both understand Rick and Morty and disassemble a portal gun. Oh, it's so plasticky. It's just so plasticky. Okay, power button on top. I'm holding it. Pardon me. I feel like they stole that noise from, that's a Sony noise. Pretty sure that's a Sony noise. Uh, the screen which they have put on the back is probably the worst quality, like even in terms of, this shouldn't have a frame rate. But the frame rate is terrible. Uh, the color is a very weird tinted kind of blue. And I'm pretty sure if you tilt it too far in one direction, you just won't be able to see anything. Everything goes negative, which is awesome. Uh, but let's see what, what modes we've got. Uh, okay, so 16 megapixel camera. This is 1080p video, but the box said 720. Oh, and there's a light. We have a light, very confused. And what they expect you to use as a microphone, maybe you're just talking to it like this. I can't imagine that's, that's gonna be trash. Let's do a picture first. Let's just take a picture of this setup right here. Nice little noise. So you can zoom in 
yeah, 16 times optical. The second you do that, let's do another comparison. This is with 16 times optical turned on. Bet it looks amazing. And then uh, supposedly we're recording now. So this is a Canon 200D. So this is my regular camera and this is whatever this is. It doesn't have, it's just called camera. Supposedly 1080p should match this one. I don't know. I won't know until I watch this footage back, but um, if I had this, I, I think, think I know which, which one, one is gonna look better. better. But it's got a speaker on it. I can play back that footage. And this is, sorry, my microphone's over here today. This is what it sounds like. So yeah, I don't, I don't even really have to review that footage back before I give this thing a rating. It is probably the cheapest piece of plastic that I've ever seen in my life, barely capable of performing the minimum functions of which you have advertised, and you charge me £26 for the morbid curiosity. So for that, I will give you a one. Just a pure one. You have no use to me. You even made me disassemble a portal gun. More useful, I would argue, than that. Which can only leave us with the Pièce de résistance. Hey! Mais je parle français maintenant. Incroyable. Uh, it's it's the drone. It's what they claim is a drone. It's supposedly what's going to be a drone. Um, we'll save the best to last here. I'm super super curious at this point. Um, here's what we got. So number one, at least there's a drone inside. That's, it's a good start. Actually, even better start was the fact that it showed up. Unlike the pen, I'm not salty about that or anything. Oh, he's so t he's so tiny. And plus, it's made of plastic. Like if you if you fly this into a tree, it is going down, 100%. It's just made of plastic, 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 utter plastic. Oh god, that is the sound of quality. Oh, it's a it's the sound of craftsmanship right there. So we get some some buffers to go in case you were going to use it inside, which I am. I'm not going outside again today. That was my quota of the day. The wings, propellers, whatever they are, fold out in the most plastic fashion I've ever seen. Hold the button at the bottom to unfold. So that's where the battery goes. I would hope that it has maybe just the tiniest bit of battery already inside it. Controller here. Uh, we need, again, four AA batteries. Thank God I know where to get those from. Okay, the batteries are installed. I think I've read just about enough for me to have a go at this first test flight. Uh, but firstly, just to give you an idea of the camera, it's uh, it looks like this. So none of those beautiful drone shots. Instead, whatever this face is. <laughs> The entire thing is so plasticky that the first time, and this will happen, I fly it into a wall, it's just gonna disintegrate. Um, but we've got everything else together. I'm gonna move back just a little bit. Just leave this here so we can see some fun. Oh dear God. I broke it. <laughs> We're gonna try that again. One of the legs came off. It's almost like that plastic wasn't enough to protect it. Move everything, everything out of the way. Scuffed my microphone.
in there. So much expensive stuff. I'm, I'm upset about my microphone right now because you've scuffed it right the way up. I think I think that's about as much as I need to do that right now, especially inside. I think we can see from the camera quality, it says 720. This is more like four, a 4P camera. It's, it's trash. You'll never get any of those glorious drone shots that you see in other people's vlogs and stuff. Once I'd figured it out on the third flight, it's, it's kind of easy to control. The pitch is a bit weird. It wants to go to the left, kind of like the gimbal as well. Everything wants to go to the left. Uh, is this thing flyable? Yes, inside. I crashed it a couple of times. It surprisingly did not break. These weird flimsy legs on the bottom are trash. Why are you still on? I'm scared you're gonna start. Go away. But it is one of those things, uh, like a lot of the other stuff that we have tried, where it is so goddamn light that if you even attempted to take this thing outside, then it, it's just gonna... It's gone. How much was this? How much did I waste on this? So this was £32. I'm, I'm upset that I paid £32 to cosmetically ruin my microphone. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm probably never gonna use this again. But that was it, ladies and gentlemen. That was everything that we ordered from Wish. Was it as bad as I was expecting? Yes. Yes, it was. Was it worse? No, because my expectations were set pretty low, to be honest. I'm not gonna link to any of the stuff in the description down below because I wouldn't wanna enforce any of this stuff on anyone. I wouldn't recommend anyone to buy it, so I'm not gonna link to it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video though, and enjoyed the Wish stuff, if you wanna see any more, because there's a lot of things we could possibly cover in this, uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification, anything to help small channels such as myself beat the goddamn YouTube algorithm and the construction outside. If you like this video, the construction will stop. But that being said, thanks for watching, and as always, I shall see you in the next one.